Okay, low entropy consciousness can easily access all of the above with little effort, but none of it is necessary to evolve the quality of your consciousness. Okay, I keep making that point because some people feel like they failed if they can't do these things. These things are extracurricular activities. The main thing is lowering your entropy, becoming love, becoming spiritual growth. That's where we're going here. Now, what about drugs? I get that a lot. Psychotropic drugs, can't they help? Isn't that a good technology? You know, lots of native people uh, use psychotropic drugs. Psychotropic drugs are also training wheels, okay? And they're very dangerous training wheels. Unless you are in a very supportive environment and unless you really know what you're doing, unless you have some skill and, and lots of information, and a very, I guess, tight protocol on what, you're, on what you're trying to accomplish and so on. I mean, unless you've got structure. And if you go to, you know, indigenous people that, that's part of their culture, they have all that structure and that support. That's all there. That's part of their, you know, they're not all just taking trips for fun. You know, let's do some acid tonight because we're bored. They have a lot of structure. It has meaning. It has significance. It has things to do and not to do. Uh, you know, it's all build up like that. And unless you have all that, you are very likely, outside of that context, you're very likely to find that it's a much bigger problem than it is a help. And the reason is that it doesn't do, a drug cannot help you become love. You see, a drug can only help give you an experience. Now, what's the value of the experience? Well, if this experience helps you become love, then it's a valuable experience. If it doesn't, if it's just an experience, well, it's just an experience. You might as well go turn on the TV. That's an experience too, right? Watch a movie. It's just an experience, then it may be entertaining, it may be exciting, it may be a big gee whiz, but the most things that, probably the only thing that I know of that drugs are really good for outside of the context of some you know, something that's more structured, because then that has special context. And within that structure, you know, it, but then that context itself is a trap, right? Because now you're trapped in that context, just like you're trapped with that, that hemi-sync. You're trapped in a context, because once you have this context that we take this drug and it's the, you know, the god of Pio or something, and we're going to do this, and we're going to smoke this, and these things will happen, and then the, the elders will come, and you have all this thing. Well, then this is a very a very defined context of what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. And then you go into that and it happens that way because that's your expectation. And then you can get certain things out of that. So that's what I mean. If it's really well defined like that, then that'll all work. But then you're stuck in that context, right? We're talking about being a citizen of the larger reality, that you go where you want, when you want, do the things you want, collect the data as you want, interact as you want. And it's not just this limited context. There is no limitations. The context is you're a free agent to do experiments and, and go and experience anything you want, however you want, you see, in the larger reality frame. Connect to those databases. You're there to grow. You, you're there to grow up. So the drugs have perhaps one good f feature to them that a lot of people claim has been very helpful to them, and that is if they initially convince you that reality is bigger than the physical. In other words, I've run into any number of people that said, I took some drugs once and wow, you know, suddenly I was, I was at one with the universe and this and that and I had all these mystical, you know, it was this great experience and that was it. They maybe took it maybe once more or something, but then that was it, they let it go. But they started a pursuit of personal growth and spiritual growth that got them started on a path of being interested. In other words, that was the eye-opener. Well, a lot of people have a paranormal experience that's the same way, right? Something really amazing happens to them that shows them that reality is bigger than just this. You don't have to take a drug, you know, to get that. Most people get it other ways. We get nudged all the time. We talk about synchronicity and all sorts of other things are nudging us to wake us up. You know, a little slap in the face, a little cold water, saying, look, reality's bigger than just this. There's something more to it than just this physical stuff. It's got another dimension. 
You know, there's this spiritual dimension. There's this other dimension. And they may not think of it in consciousness, but it's that eye-opener. It's the cold water in the face. Well, a drug can do that to you. A drug can be the cold water in the face that says, oh, reality is bigger. But then if you quit there with the drug and go on and pursue a bigger reality, I think you're a winner. If you go on then and pursue that larger reality through the drug, I think you're probably going to be a loser because all that will do is drive you into an experience. Well, okay, you can have these great experiences, great technicolor, you know. It's like the, the graphics are wonderful, but, you know, the significance is lost. And that drug then can make it more difficult for you if you take drugs, you know, if you continue to take those drugs, it tends to make it more difficult for you to do it without them. So in other words, now you, it would have taken you maybe a year to get to this place. If you have been taking a lot of drugs, it may take you two years to get to that place because you've got a lot of expectation, you've got belief, you've got, I don't know, it, it tend, I, just the people I have known, this is more of an of a empirical observation. Those who take drugs have a harder time getting there without the drugs. So I think drugs on the whole are a big negative. I say stay away from them. Don't try to get to the larger reality through drugs. If it's an eye opener for you, fine. If it's a very highly structured process within a button down context, well, if that's your culture, you know, go do it. It's not that there's anything morally wrong with it. It's just, it's whether or not it's effective. You know, what do you get out of it? What do you gain from it? And if you take drugs, I guarantee you a drug will not turn you into a love being. You have to do that work. And if you're spaced out and your mind is zinging, that's not spiritual growth. That's just an experience. Okay? So don't, don't confuse having an experience in the larger reality with growing. Growing up. They're not the same thing. They're very different.